Welcome to an exploration of the Earth's breath, the unseen force that caresses our faces, powers our homes, and navigates our journeys. Wind. The wind has been harnessed by humans for thousands of years, with evidence of sailboats from as early as 5500 BC. There are basically two types of winds, global and local. Global winds, like the trade winds, blow across vast areas, while local winds are influenced by the geographic features of small regions. Wind turbines. Our giants capturing the breath of Earth can stand up to 280 feet tall, almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty. It's a common misconception that the windiest place on Earth is either in the deserts or at sea. However, the title goes to Commonwealth Bay, Antarctica, where winds can reach up to 200 miles per hour. The ancient Greeks personified the wind as gods called the Animoi, each representing a cardinal direction. An anemometer is a device used to measure wind speed. The first mechanical anemometer was invented in 1846 by John Thomas Romney Robinson. Wind is a key player in pollination, aiding the fertilization of many plants by transporting pollen. Wind energy is one of the cleanest sources of power, emitting no greenhouse gases during operation and requiring minimal water. The term breaking wind has existed since at least the 15th century, though its modern usage might get a few more giggles. Kites were first invented in China around 400 BC as a tool for military signaling and were one of the earliest inventions to utilize wind power. Wind can shape geological landscapes through the process of erosion, carving out natural wonders, and transporting sediments across great distances. A Chinook, known as a snow eater, is a type of warm wind that can dramatically increase temperatures within hours, melting snow quickly. In sailing, the doldrums refer to a windless zone near the equator, notorious among sailors for trapping ships in its still waters. Wind has played a key role in mythologies around the world, often believed to carry messages or omens from the gods. The Beaufort Scale, created by Sir Francis Beaufort in 1805, measures wind speed based on observed sea conditions. Wind chill factor describes how cold the wind makes it feel, a crucial measure for understanding exposure risks in cold climates. A jet stream is a fast-flowing air current found in the upper levels of the atmosphere, instrumental in influencing weather patterns. Urban planning can be influenced by wind studies to design cities that improve air quality and natural cooling through wind circulation. The smell before rain, known as petrichor, is often carried by the wind, a signal of the storm to come. Wind can also have a cooling effect on the land, a principle harnessed in traditional Middle Eastern architecture to create natural ventilation in buildings. Trade winds have been used by sailors for centuries to navigate the seas, named for their reliability in aiding the trade routes. Large wind farms can contain hundreds of wind turbines spread over extensive areas of land or even offshore in the ocean. Sounds are carried by the wind, a phenomenon that has been used strategically in battles and hunting throughout history. Wind is created by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface by the sun and the planet's rotation, leading to atmospheric movement. In some cultures, wind is believed to possess healing properties capable of blowing away sickness. Wind can influence the spread of wildfires, making them unpredictable and harder to control. Energy produced from wind does not deplete any natural resources and provides a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. Professional wind sports, such as windsurfing and kiteboarding, showcase the incredible power and potential for recreation that wind offers. 
wind-driven rain can penetrate buildings, an important consideration in architecture and the development of weatherproof materials. Seasonal winds like monsoons bring much needed rain to sustain agriculture in many parts of the world. In the future, airborne wind energy systems could harness stronger winds at higher altitudes, offering vast amounts of power. Wind also plays a role in the Earth's heat distribution, moving warm and cold air masses to maintain a balance. Lenticular clouds formed by strong winds over mountains have often been mistaken for UFOs due to their saucer-like shape. The saying, whichever way the wind blows, reflects the unpredictable nature of wind, a force that has shaped human history in countless ways. Lastly, wind brings the sounds of the world to our ears, from the howling of a storm to the whispers of a breeze through the trees, connecting us to the vast and wild symphony of Earth.